It's Group F action at the African Cup of Nations on Wednesday between DR Congo and Zambia at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time in Group F. Likely the two teams that will be fighting behind Morocco to come second in this group, with Morocco being the most heavily favored team to win the group and Tanzania being the underdogs. For DR Congo, they're the Leopards. They come in 67th ranked in the FIFA rankings. And Zambia, the Chipola Polo, or the Copper Bullets are 84th. Now, the odds in this game see Congo at 2 to 1, plus 200, the draw plus 180, Zambia plus 187, over 2.5 goals plus 170, under 2.5 goals minus 225. Both teams to score yes plus 120, both teams to score no minus 163. So the odds say it could be a draw, there should be few goals, and maybe both teams will not score. Now, if we go deeper into the odds and look at the 1.5 goal line, we see the over being favored at minus 188 and the under at plus 137. Player-wise, the most favored players to score are Cedric Bukamba. He plays for Galatasaray as his club team. And nationally with Congo, his odds are plus 240. Followed by Fashion Sakala of al Fahaya and Pat Sindaka of Leicester, those uh, for Zambia, at plus 300. And then Simone Banza of Congo, also at plus 300. He is the top Portuguese scorer right now for Braga with 14 goals. Next up are four more Congo players at plus 333, plus 350, plus 350, and plus 350. So a whole bunch of players around 3-1 to one odds to get on the score sheet. Now in qualifying, when you look at these teams, DR Congo topped their group at 4-0-2. They scored 11 goals. They allowed four. They were ahead of Mauritania, Gabon, and Sudan. Zambia, they also won their group at 4-1-1. One, one. They scored 12. They allowed 6. They were ahead of Ivory Coast, Gomoros, and Lothotho. Those 12 goals for were the third most of any team in qualifying. If we look historically between these teams, how they've done in this tournament, DR Congo, they were, this is, they were last, yeah, their last time being in the African Cup of Nations was in 2019, but this is their 20th overall appearance. They have two titles under their belt, but they were way back in 1968 and 1974. For Zambia, they have more recent success. They won this tournament back in 2012. However, they missed the last three AFCONs and haven't won a game actually since winning that title. The last time they were in this tournament was 2015, but they have been in 18 overall tournaments. They've had more success though in different tournaments recently as they won the 2023 Cassava Cup, winning over Lesotho in the final. Head to head, when these teams have played, there's not a ton of recent history. Have They haven't played since 2015 in the African Cup of Nations when they drew 1-1. Prior to that, they have had no matches between each other since 2005, where they had four friendlies, Three of those were draws, one Zambia win, the scores were 4 1, 1 1, 0 0, and 2 2. So, whatever it's worth, there's a lot of draws between these teams, but not much to look at recently. Some stats and best bets to consider for this game completely opposite trends between these teams. If you look at how they've been playing, DR Congo, they've been in lots of low scoring games and team, games that have not seen both teams to score. Their last warm up game, notwithstanding, where they lost 2 1 to Burkina Faso on January 10th, that is. Also, they played in a friendly in January versus Angola, and that was more true to form where they drew a 0-0. They now only have one win in seven games heading into this tournament, and those scores have been a 2-1 loss, a 0-0 draw, a 1-0 loss, a 2-0 win, 0-0 draw, 1-1 draw, and 1-0 loss in those games. There's lots of clean sheets in DR Congo games one way or another. In fact, whether it's them keeping a clean sheet or them being shut out, there has been a clean sheet in 16 of their past 18 games. They've not been a good both teams to score bet at all as it's only happened two of the past 18 games. So it's two and 16 to both teams to score. Yes, under bets have been cashing with DR Congo. It's 12 and six in their past 18 games. That's being under 2.5. For Zambia, they've been involved in quite higher scoring games and more both teams to score games. They have one warm-up game in January where they drew Cameroon 1-1 recently on January 9th. Zambia are 9-2-4 in their last 15. There's been two or more goals scored in seven of their past 10. There's also been two or more goals scored in 13 of their past 16. Bets on both teams to score will be 7-3 in their last 10. Zambia's only failed to score in three of their past 16 games. They've also allowed, though, a goal in nine of their past 11. The last three score lines have been 1-1, a 2-1 loss, a 4-2 win, and a 3-0 win. So those were the last four scores, actually. So I think in this game, there's just two, stats are just too conflicting. One team sees goals, one team doesn't see very many goals. 
Lots of both teams to score, lots of unders, and non-both teams to score. So the odds could be very accurate here, predicting the draw at plus 180. Let's go for a draw that could bring in a 1-1 or a 0-0, and would be better odds than just going under, which is heavily juiced. So a plus 180, let's go best bet between Congo and Zambia, a draw. Be sure to share what your bet is for this game down there in the comments, and subscribe to this channel to get more AFCON picks all tournament.